morning, everyone. How are you doing? Good morning. Here it is. We're wrapping up our stay here in Florida. We've been down here for two weeks and we've had a thoroughly enjoyable time. For me, I don't know about Mrs. Johnson, but this has been one of the most enjoyable trips that we've had. Um, stayed at some very um, nice um, hotels. We are IHG members. We have achieved a platinum status by now. So that gives us a little more perks. So um, the best stay for me would have been Panama City Beach. I thoroughly enjoyed that because one, the staff was always cleaning. It's central to everywhere that we um, visited close to our food locations, close to the beach. So that would have been my first choice at um, Panama City Beach. My second one would have probably been, um, what was it, Jacksonville? Oh, really? Ja well, no, 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 Scratch Jacksonville. <laughs> <laughs> Scratch Jacksonville uh, East. Uh, we yeah. will not go back there, I'm sorry. Yeah. So I guess the second one would have been this one that we're staying here now yeah. in Orlando. It's right here on the sort of what we call the main strip where we have easy access to Krabby Joe's. Um, um, from there we walk across to this little park that they have where they have different vendors, Bears Row, whatever that thing is called. Mm -hmm. So those, those were the two um, most enjoyable locations um, for stage for me. Well, I have to say I agree with you completely on the overall best vacation ever. And not because it's Florida, it's the way we did it. Mm -hmm. um, by breaking up into different cities as opposed to just staying in one location, yes. that was the icing on the cake of, for uh, any vacation. We've been to Hawaii, that was a wonderful experience. But what we both like is variety. And being able to go from city to city, each city has its own unique flavor. And um, learned a lot in the 12 days, it's, it's just incredible how rich Florida is in its uniqueness in each city. So, yeah, so overall, best vacation ever. Mm -hmm. And then the hotels, I agree with you, absolutely. Our best day was at the, um, yeah, that was the, the, the building, the staff, the atmosphere. Um, close to a mile from the beach, a mile from everything. Everything was great. I, I don't have one thing to say. The we, staff was always cleaning. Yeah. Um, they were just cleaning throughout the whole um, day throughout our stay. So that made us feel comfortable about this is definitely a clean place. You might see me look down because we got a few notes. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. We need to keep on track. Now food. <laughs> For me, by far, would have been Rudy's in Panama City Beach. <laughs> I love my barbecue. I love my um, brisket. Because I don't get, I don't often get a chance to get brisket up in Canada. Mm -hmm. um, so when I get an opportunity to get brisket, I will get brisket. We love Rudy's had the brisket and smoked turkey. Those were the two best um, meats for me. And I, Big Lee's, they had the brisket which is good which is good we're not putting them, putting them down um, but we were able to get the burnt ends from there and quite honestly me being american that's the first time i've had burnt ends and it was delicious i tried them at home in canada but i had nothing to judge them by so i really didn't know what they were supposed to taste like but. and for all of you that don't realize yet i'm canadian jamaican born and this is my American <laughs> So you might see I always put the Canadian and American flags, mm -hmm. and that's what we represent both. And um, we're grateful for both countries. Um, so for myself, the food experience, um, everywhere we went, food was exceptional. Uh, from fresh food to uh, places like the, um, food, the meat market and food store Rudy's, that is. and. Oh, yeah, that Jamaican restaurant, authentic in Panama City. By the way, I'm going to find out why are all the Jamaicans living in Panama City? Um, but it was wonderful because the food is authentic, the people are authentic, and uh, I feel like you're almost in a little bit of Jamaica up there. 
tips, tips for snowbirds or anyone relocating uh, to Florida or anywhere else for that matter. Um, one of the things we learned a year ago when we started this adventure was that we wanted to get a storage room mm -hmm. and you know initially we just started buying things because we knew what our decor was going to be and it, you know we just wanted to get things going and then as time went on we realized that we were led to do that we were blessed to do that um, because we have saved over two thousand dollars when you tally up what it would cost us now to buy those items that we have and i'm going to insert in the video the storage room I tallied it up because I pin everything. I'm a Pinterest nut as well, and I got honey. Everything so I know the current cost, the previous cost, and so far over 2,000 US dollars, everything has increased, which is sad, but the reality is that's what it is now if we had to buy it again. Um, and so even the cost of the locker hasn't been that. So we've actually saved money by having the locker, especially if you have a particular decor it's hard to run around and purchase what you want now because some things are on back order, some things are, they don't know when it'll be back. And so the purposes of, of our um, visit here along with vacation was to check on the status of our home. Um, back in July, we were there checking on it and we wanted to see what progress has taken place. So that was one of the first stops we made was in, um, to look at our home. And we were pleasantly surprised. Um, we knew the windows were, up, were installed. And we talked to the manager builder. And we spoke with the manager on site. He's a great gentleman. He's a prior veteran such as myself. And he was sharing with me um, what he would like to put in place, implement, to make things a little smoother, and a little more um, cohesive. So when we left, the first, I think we were there the first day or two, once we arrived in Florida, he said that the drywall will probably be up. And lo and behold, we went by the other day on the latter part of our trip and the drywall was installed. So that And he said, when well, we spoke to him earlier, that once the drywall is up, that will give him an indication of what to order next, like our cabinets, the countertops, um, anything else that needs to be done inside. Because quite honest, once the um, mud and sand the drywall, if everything is um, available, it should go pretty quick. And that's the key, right, honey? Is that it hasn't always been available. Mm -hmm. right. When the workers were available, the supply wasn't available. So that's what has caused the delay. Because he was sharing that um, oftentimes when there's no supplies, um, the workers would go to other sites. Yeah. And when uh, supplies come in, they would have to try to get other workers to come in. So what he's trying to do is make everything smooth. So um, as I stated, the drywall, is installed they're going to be mudding and sanding so right now he's wanting to order in the next phase so that once that drywall is sud, um, sanded and mudded and it sits for a minute they can continue on with the next phase so that's what he's trying to implement now is a steady workflow of supplies that the workers won't have to go to other sites to um, look look for um, jobs in between so we're quite um, excited. You know, this has been a journey. Um, 
we're trusting the Lord each and every step of the way. And it's nothing that um, we can do as we were talking to the builder. I was asking him about something I can't remember. And I said, is there anything we can do? He said, no, there's nothing we can do. So that puts the ball back in our father's hand. We, as homeowners, potential homeowners, there's not very much that we can do but trust in our father. Because if we truly believe that he's led us down this path, it's going to be his timing and his um, unfolding of everything that's going to take place. So another plan to come back down in February. We're not sure just to do a quick turnaround. If the home is not available, we're praying that um, it's just a matter of a couple of months that the home will be ready for us to make that transition. And so that's where we stand, is that this has really been a faith walk. Mm -hmm. It's been, we've learned a lot, and we are so grateful um, to have experienced this. And we're hoping that our videos are not just, we're not here to impress anyone. We're just hoping our videos help, help you see the different places in Florida you might want to venture to, as well as what we're going through as we become snowbirds. Um, for example, our IHG gun, like that's amazing. This one trip put us, took us from one level of status with them, with the hotel, um, to Actually another. Actually skipped two levels, so like I said, we're at the platinum, we were at the very basic the mem member, and now we're at the platinum. So we encourage um, to sign up to sign up for IHG yep. rewards. Yep. Stay at their location, especially if you're going to be traveling quite a bit, because there are a good number of perks. And we took advantage of AARP. Yes, we did time. for the first time. At we're Joe, christened <laughs> at Joe's Crab Shack. Yeah, so. we saved our 10%, and so we plan on doing more of that. Mm -hmm. It's CAA or Triple A, and make sure you look at the discounts that are available as well yeah so thank you for sharing your time and um, it's been a blast for us sharing our life with you we're amazed that you are interested in us and what we do so we are thankful to the lord for everything we're able to do and we'll continue to share it with you as long as we can so that's it. We're going to wrap up. We're packed up and we're heading to the airport. And um, I want to thank my husband. He is the most um, prepared to worry when I take a trip. And I'm grateful, always grateful, because not everything rests on one person's shoulder. And I hope I'm of some help to him when it comes to that as well. We are thankful, grateful, and uh, looking forward to heading home as well to to regroup, to plan some more for the next time, right? And uh, we'll see you soon. Have Take a blessed care. day. Bye.